everyone welcome back to my channel thank you for coming back this is going to be the start of a new series i'm starting on my channel i've been wanting to start this series for such a long time and i was going to wait until like this whole strange period has finished but i thought i'd just start it now every episode is going to involve a different guest and i'm starting off with models but hopefully we can get like bookers and agents and all different people from the fashion industry in these videos to answer whatever assumptions you have about them or anything in particular about the industry or models so this video is going to be assumptions about models because i'm going to have because i'm going to have guests in these videos um i wanted to wait until after this pandemic was over so that i could actually have them physically in the video with me and we could bounce off each other but i thought i'd just start it now it's going to become more virtual i'll tell the guests what assumptions they've got to answer and then they'll send me their videos of them answering it and i'll just insert and edit it into this video so hopefully that's okay with all of you um but yeah it should be a really fun series it'll be really interesting to hear other people's than my selves opinion does that make sense <laughs> because an assumption that i might think is true might not necessarily be true to someone else the first guest in this series is one of my friends called emily godwin i'll put her picture up here um she's absolutely stunning she's a new face with me at models one so beautiful inside and out she's walked for incredible designers um, works with such amazing people she's like what we all aspire to be like and she deserves every every opportunity she's got i'm so happy that she wanted to be a part of my series and that i could have her on my channel i sent her three assumptions for her to video herself answering and said back to me why was that so <laughs> did you see like i was like trying to process how to say that for so long and i'll be answering three different assumptions as well because this is a series i'll be taking assumptions in all the time so if you have any assumptions about models the industry modeling anything like that just send them over to me on instagram and hopefully i can get three of them in these videos so I got a couple about confidence, one of them says have lots of confidence, um, another says a lot of people assume models are really confident 100% of the time and thank you for enjoying my videos, that makes me so happy. I think them assumptions are false in my opinion, I think they're false. Um, obviously I do modelling and I'm definitely not the most confident person out there. I struggled a lot with confidence like growing up, I was always super shy. Um, it's not necessarily a bad thing like to be shy and a bit timid and I didn't really talk that much uh, and modelling definitely has helped to like bring me out of my shell um, feel more comfortable talking to people I don't know and stuff like that um, and it probably comes with age as well for a lot of people so no models definitely aren't 100% confident all of the time everyone has insecurities someone you might think is the most beautiful person you've ever seen I can guarantee you they have insecurities it's like such a personal thing and like it's usually things that other people won't even notice about you but because you analyze yourself so much in the mirror every single day you see yourself you just pick out flaws that like other people don't even notice you may think oh but why would models struggle with confidence they've been chosen um to be in that position they get chosen for the jobs they're obviously so beautiful and got amazing figures and everything like that but that can also be one of the reasons why they struggle with confidence if that makes sense like if you're constantly surrounded by people you think are uh, unreal and you think they're so much prettier than you or they're slimmer than you um or they're booking all the jobs and you're not it can really deteriorate your confidence it's so important to try and not compare yourself to other models or just anyone else in general like i think this kind of goes for everyone everyone is like beautiful and unique in their own way um and you can appreciate someone else's beauty without questioning your own sorry if the lighting is changing the sun keeps going out and in i give that advice to people and like to you guys but then obviously everyone has bad days where they feel really rubbish about themselves or they feel like they're not good enough or they're really struggling with body confidence or just confidence in general talking to people it's so natural to feel like that and i think it is 
quite impossible to feel confident 100% of the time. I thought I waffled on so much about that one, but especially these days, it's such an important message to try and get across to people. You are amazing the way you are. Okay, so models have to be tall. I think that's partly true um, and is true of a lot of types of modeling, like runway, for example but also the modeling industry is changing really quickly and things like e-com and um, other more commercial forms of modeling are a lot more open to all different heights um, and shapes and sizes and so that's quite a nice thing to see happening. Okay, the second one I'm answering is quite a personal one I guess. Like that is the whole point of these videos, I really want to answer literally anything you assume about models. This one says make a lot of money. <laughs> Um, it really, really varies model to model, um, how much money you make, job to job, like so many different things come into that. It's not like a fixed rate of what you'll make. It depends what sort of model you are, how often you work. Say a model who's doing e-com four days a week consistently for years will probably be earning more money than a girl who is doing like a couple of shows once a year and a few editorials in between that even though the second girl would be more of a high fashion model compared to a like, more high street commercial model it's just how it is it really depends on the look you have what jobs you get put forward for the kind of path you are set out to have everything like that comes into account models that have just started out might not get paid for like the first three years of their career don't get me wrong models can earn a lot of money especially really successful models i would say it's quite a well-paid job we have fees that our agency take from that money we might need to get our hair done more than the average person there's a lot of expenses as well as also getting good money models are stuck up obviously that's not true um, I've met some of the most amazing people um, in my life through modelling and I think if anything people mistake models being stuck up for just girls or boys being determined and like eager to get what they want in life um, and I think it's such a cruel stereotype that there are these women out there who are much younger than most working women um, going into the world and having to deal with everything that modelling throws at you and then to start calling them stuck up I think is ridiculous. Although I'm sure some are. Okay, the third assumption I've got to answer is do you all have to be super skinny? No is the answer to that. Um, modelling nowadays is a lot more diverse. It's a lot more inclusive of different body shapes, sizes, races, everything like that. A lot of agencies have a curve division on clothing websites, there are models of all shapes and sizes and then runway models are typically slimmer, just a bit more petite in terms of like body shape but again runway is becoming a lot more inclusive, a lot of designers now include people of all different shapes and sizes, all different heights, all different races. And also just to touch on, a lot of people may think that a lot of really slim models aren't real, aren't natural, have purposely lost a lot of weight to be that size, or have changed their body to be that size. It's not necessarily that. A lot of people are naturally that stature, it could be genetic, it's just the way they are. So just in summary to answer that assumption, not all models have to be super skinny. Um, models are always healthy and work out. Okay so I think it's important to have a healthy lifestyle because having a healthy lifestyle leads to all sorts of things which include having a healthy and strong body. Um, think of it like having a body of an athlete. Um, I think that is key. But it isn't really a matter of all models waking up and drinking some liquidised broccoli and then doing, I don't know, lots of press ups. That's how lot people do. But I just think the stereotypes are partly true because you have to maintain your fitness, you have to keep your body healthy and strong, maybe to just to deal with the sort of timetables that the modelling world throws at you or do something like Fashion Week where you have to be so so mentally and physically strong um but for me i think that always eating healthily and always working out is quite a struggle but i try to do it as much as i can and it's just about finding the right thing for you 
<laughs> thank you so much for watching this video i hope um emily and myself helped any of you out that had assumptions about models that you wasn't sure whether they were true or false if you have any assumptions about anything to do with the industry please let me know on instagram and i'll try and answer them in future videos as i said this is going to be a series i've had some really exciting models say they would like to be a part of it so make sure you stay tuned to see who the other guests are and thank you so much to emily for being my first guest in this series i really hope you enjoyed it and i hope you're all staying safe and well and i'll see you in my next video bye